Breaking news, the Office of Democratic Colorado Secretary of State Jenna Griswold, quote, accidentally posted the passwords for Colorado voting systems online. These passwords were available for months and are tied to active voting systems. So, by the way, as you're about to find out, you know, I'll just tell you whenever she pops up. Passwords for Colorado Let's get going voting. here systems were posted online for anyone to see for months yeah if you knew where to look democratic secretary of state jenna griswold's office apparently posted them online by accident it's Griswold's an accident. office found out last thursday and had not told the county clerks who actually run elections then the colorado republican party went public today yeah. demanding that griswold secure those voting machines no here's marshall zellinger no the Colorado Secretary of State's office is required to maintain a spreadsheet of certified voting systems for. Ooh, we're using Dominion again. We're using the Dominion voting machines again. We love them. Okay. Each county. That's this list. At the bottom of any spreadsheet, you can have hmm. multiple tabs. Hmm. You can also hide a tab. But if you post the raw spreadsheet to a public website, apparently anyone can also unhide the tab. Oh my God. This happened and apparently revealed one set of passwords for voting computers in Colorado. Next confirmed oh this with my the Secretary God. of State's office today, but we learned about it this morning in the Election integrity matters, yeah, true. An email blast from the Colorado Republican yeah. Party. The passwords had been up for months without it being known, and some, but not all, were current and active. There are two passwords to get into any voting component along with physical access. Democratic Colorado Secretary Secretary of State Jenna Griswold explained this woman Jenna Griswold you might remember her because she was big time in the news about seven months ago do you remember why she was in the news seven months ago because she is the one in Colorado that tried to implement article three of amendment 14 to remove Donald Trump from the Republican primary ballot under the idea that he was an insurrectionist she tried to remove Donald Trump from the Republican primary ballot so that people couldn't vote for him. So here she is again, doing some other, doing some kind of weird, weird shit again in the media. Hmm, little bit weird. State Jenna Griswold explained how each computer component requires two passwords to gain access. The ones on the website were just one of the passwords and- She's the reason I was banned from Twitter for two years. That must have happened when I was also banned from Twitter. So I don't, I didn't even know about, I don't even know. I didn't even know that you were banned because I was also banned. So I didn't even, you got to tell me about that story sometime. I don't know anything about that. I bet, I would bet that a lot of, a lot of us were probably banned in this time frame. Jack, give me, give me a one if you were banned on Twitter before the Elon Musk acquisition. Give me a one in the chat if you were banned. I was, I was banned. I spent three years banned, three years. There, look at that, unbelievable. Yep, see a lot of us. And then we got unbanned and now we're back and now we're calling the shots, bitch, let's go. It requires in-person access by multiple people, which is tracked by 24 seven video recording and badge IDs that record who has gained access. We have layers of security and out of just an abundance of caution, have staff in the field. Uh, changing passwords, looking at access logs. The truth is. You are gross and fat and retarded. And just like, can you just got, you got to go away. You have got to go away. Why do, why do we have, ew. Why do we have people like her running the show? Why is she the one that's running the show? And it's not just in Colorado. Like it's like everywhere. It's like everywhere. It's people like her that are running the show. Oh, God, it's logs. over. The truth is, is, is this a concern? Yes. Is it being mitigated? Yes. Um, does this mean that um, all of the computers are connected to the Internet and that votes are being flipped? No. Matt Crane is the former Republican Arapahoe County Clerk and current executive director of the County Clerks Association. He admits this is not great news, but not something that will compromise anyone's vote. Yep. I want to stress here, this isn't all Republicans, but you will have some Republicans who will use this for political and financial purposes, um, whereas we as clerks, we, we will stay in the truth and honoring our oath of office to serve, yep. uh, to serve our constituents in a truthful and honest manner. Dude, I can't I cannot fathom releasing this spreadsheet 
with the fucking passwords included in the spreadsheet. How, how in the fuck are we that incompetent that this is happening? 